Alright. From pity he just resubscribed for five months. Who is S tier waifu blue? Oh, we're gonna get to that. How? It's mobility. And AoE, guys. This is the name of the game for early game PvE. One of the best classes in the game for early game PvE. We all know it. Where is he? Hold on. There he is. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. We put the Succession Berserker up there. Where's my Musa at? Where's Musa? What? Oh, there he is. Finally, Ronald gets to be in the S tier, even though he's crap. Um, where is Awakening Nova? Bam. Honestly, I think the Moose is better than the Nova. I've, I've around with both. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. They're interchangeable. It's like, honestly, these two are like whatever um suck lana i think she belongs in a tier down suck zerk are you even reading what's on your screen right now are you even reading what's on the goddamn screen okay um oh suck warrior's crazy don't even start with me i don't want to hear any argument on it suck warrior's crazy that shit's insane um, where is my Meihua Queen? I was just looking for her. I don't believe that Mewa is in the S tier because she can't really do centaurs super well because she doesn't have the AoE. She's got the mobility though, so she can do Desert Nagas, Desert Fogans, Gahas, and all the other stuff. But she can't do um Centaurs crazy well. She she has the AoE. Not really. Not really. Like it's just it's it's she's much better off at Desert Nagas or Desert Fogans. Um What other classes have crazy mobility and can just eat at low-end spots, guys? Guardian, shut up. Arch, oh, Archer's a good one. I like Archer. Archer belongs in the A tier for sure. I, Kuno and Ninja, yeah, those are really good classes. I think both specs of those can go here. I think Ninja's probably better than Kuno, right? I think that... Well, honestly, where's the Awakening Ninja at? Awakening Ninja might actually be better than Succession at low-end low grinding. It's got stronger movement, yeah? Um, there we go. And then I think that Awakening Kuno also has stronger movement than the Succession counterpart. And then you put it that, like that. Oh, Suck Megu. True. How does no one mention... How, where, where the hell is the Suck Megu at, man? Uh, Suck Megu is probably S tier. I'm going to be honest, guys. That's that's an S tier class. That shit's crazy. It's got the AoE. It's got the mobility. It's insane. Wusa too. Wusa's a little bit slower. It probably belongs in the A tier. Um, Both versions of Wusa can both go in the A tier, I think. Probably, like, here. Awakening Valk. Sure. It can go with Awakening Warrior. And Striker. And Succession Tamer. And Guardian. And Dark Knight. Awakening DK's S tier. Shut up. 
Not 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 a word from anyone. Awakening DK is crazy, bro. At low end spots, that shit's crazy. Um, suck DK is actually probably A tier. Not as good as the Mewa. Only a little bit better than the Archer. Hash, oh true. Hash is really good. A tier for sure. Truing. I don't know exactly where these would fall. Um, suck Mewa probably just, just like right here, right? It's like next to Awakening, something like that. Suck Musa doesn't have the AOE of Awakening, but like probably belongs up here. Um, suck Lon is good. Doesn't have crazy AOE though. So I'm honestly going to put her in the B tier like that. Honestly, I think the Valkyrie is better. Oh, Awakening Draconia is actually not that bad at low-end grinding. It's like, okay. It's like mid, right? And then... I think Suck Witch is probably an A-tier grinder. Suck Wizard's probably behind her. Um, Awakening Mystic. She's got really good mobility. Her AoE is really solid. I think that she probably belongs right there. I think that Succession Mystic belongs significantly below her because her AoE isn't quite as good, but still pretty solid. Not even a comment, just dismissed. I'll explain the D tier in a second. Um, Awakening Berserker is actually really good, believe it or not. I actually think it's like A tier grinder, pretty good. Succession Sage is D for dog shit. Um, Suck Striker is pretty A, a plus tier. Probably belongs up here. Uh, probably below that. Suck Valkyrie's crap. Sork doesn't have the mobility. Nova's just garbage at everything that she does. Draconia's just like, honestly, that can go here. This is okay. Yeah, honestly, the, the, I'll be dead, keep it a buck. I actually think that Suck Corsair is actually pretty good. I beat Cheeks just resubscribed for five months. We beat Cheeks and Spank Skanks, my boy. Who the hell is that? I beat Cheeks. All right, buddy. Welcome back for five months, man. But I wouldn't necessarily include me in there. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. I think that the Tamer belongs in B. Like, Awakening Tamer isn't as good as Succession, but Succession Tamer is actually pretty solid. Probably come. Probably move it. Eh, like that. It's a fine spot. Suck Ranger. Actually really good with AoE. Doesn't have the best mobility, but I still think it belongs in the A tier. Not above Hash, not above Witch. Probably a, probably somewhere like at the end of A tier. Uh, Awakening Corsair. Golly gee whiz, doesn't she just belong in like a reasonable... A reasonable look. She's like B. She's not as good as Succession is. Don't even start with me. Suck Corsair at low-end grinding is actually not bad at all, bro. That shit crazy. Uh, Awakening Megu at low-end grind spots is like Ite. Somewhere around Tamer level. Uh, Awakening Ranger. <laughs> um, Honestly, it's got reasonable mobility. It's lax in AoE. I'm going to throw it into the C tier. Awakening Guardian probably can go into the C tier here too. Um... It's just really slow. Maybe we can move Guardian here. It's just really slow, but it's got a lot of AoE and it's really low APM. It's just slow as f So, like, when you compare it to, like, I don't know, a Striker. The Striker's just going to move, like, twice as fast. This doesn't make sense. Awakening Lawn. Here. Okay. I am happy with this. Now, let me explain what's going on with this D tier. Okay, 
These are classes that don't have very good mobility and or AOE. Awakening Wizards lacks uh, mobility. Okay. Shy lacks mobility and AOE. Um, Awakening Witch lacks the mobility. Succession Sage lacks the mobility. Succession Valkyrie lacks mobility. Suck and Awakening Sork lack the mobility and so does Succession Nova. Um, I will say that there is a low end spot for these classes. It's called Miramok Ruins A Tier Squad. Okay. That's that's this. Do not think that you can't play these at low end spots. There is a low end spot for every single class in the game. Okay. Miramok Ruins, absolutely super doable for all of these classes to get you a Tannis. It's the best DXP at that uh, level, basically, aside from maybe Polly's Forest. Um, and it uh, gets you a fair amount of money as well. So uh, don't feel like these low tier classes can't grind. I would just go to Miramok Ruins if you have a lower tier early game class. Uh, if you have a higher tier early game class, you can probably explore more of the potion spots and grind a little bit more efficiently. Um, Scholar? Oh, yeah. Um, Scholar. Um, you know, maybe I can get like a Scholar image. Scholar. And maybe I can like upload it real quick, guys. Scholar. Video. Yeah, can I just open this in a new tab? And I drag this onto my desktop like this, and then I choose files. I don't want to show you guys my horse porn. Uh, there we go. All right, so Scholar. Scholar's got solid AOE. Her mobility is good. I'm actually going to put her in the B tier. I think she's pretty good. She might be A tier. Well, honestly... I, I'm gonna put her in the A tier. I'm gonna put her in the. A -tier. I, I actually think she's pretty good. Um, her mobility isn't quite as good as some of the other A tier classes, so she sits toward the bottom of A tier. But like her, her AOE is actually pretty solid. Maybe B tier. Maybe B tier. I'll, I'll I'll put her just below Valkyrie. I think this is reasonable. I think it's reasonable. Like you can absolutely get away with some of the lower tier spots on Scholar. Uh, it's not going to be quite as fast as some of the other classes in the game, but I'd say she's kind of mid. Right? I'd say she's kind of mid. Um, okay. That's your early game tier list. We good? All right, now let's do mid game. Okay, so these spots, um... Awakening Ranger C tier? Okay, Joe Biden. Okay. These are spots like Orcs, um, Underwater, Sakraya, Jade, Starlight, Forest. Everybody got that? All right, like, the, yeah, stars in. You guys get the idea. But, like, these spots. Okay. You're moving up to the next two. You got, like, 330 DP. Start the music over. Best mid-tier class in the game. People are going to get super mad with me, man. People are going to get really mad. It's the Nova. It's not even a question. I'm going to keep it a buck, guys. People are going to get mad with me because I am a witch main and I play Succession Witch and I'm telling you, that bitch is still faster. It's stupid. It's a dumb class and it needs to be nerfed. Witch is totally fine. Don't even worry about that. Um, 
These two are almost in a tier of their own. Um, Sukmegu is next. Where is she? Right here. She's really good. I think Awakening Sage is really good too. I uh, Moose is really good. I think Awakening Dark Knight's really good. I'm just, I, I haven't figured out the order yet, guys, but like, I think Awakening Wizard's actually crazy too. Yo, what up, us guy? How you doing? Um, no, please play my music. Play the music. Okay, there we go. Okay, are you guys ready for the hot take of the mid-game PvE tier list? Shut up. I don't want to hear anything. Not a word. I honestly, honestly... Honestly that. Uh, honestly, just even better than Suck Megu. That's how fucking good it is. Yeah. It, it's just crazy, man. It's crazy. Oh. Suck Warrior, you guys, you doubt me. You watch a Suck Warrior grind sometime. Watch them up go to town, bro. It's stupid. Um, What else we doing here? What, what, what else we putting up here, boys? Um, I think Hash is good. I, I think that Hash is really good at, um, at this level. I think Awakening, ha Awakening and Suck Hash are probably pretty solid. I, I don't know if they belong this high, but like I'm going to put them here. They're, they're, they're pretty good. They're pulling crazy trash numbers here. Maybe another hot take. <laughs> Y'all might get mad with me. It's a little dumb. The speed at which I grind, uh, I see suck ninja grinding is crazy. I think it's crazy, bro. Uh, I'll be reasonable. I'll put him below hash. I'll, I'll be reasonable. I'll put him right here. I think tamers above. I think suck tamers above average. Too. She belongs in this tier somewhere. Thanks, us guy. I appreciate it, buddy. I haven't examined a few hours, so I've not been able to watch the stream. Hope you're having an amazing day. Thanks so much, buddy. Yeah, we're 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 farming today. We're gaming today. Okay. Awakening striker is really good, right? This belongs in the A tier too, right? For sure. Um, this is where Succession Lawn starts to get really good. May maybe S. I I I'll put her up here. This is where Suck Lawn starts to get really good. Um, I think that Succession Musa is basically the same as Awakening here. It's a little worse, I think, because due to AoE. Succession Sage is not bad, but I'll be honest with you. It's also, it's okay. It's like right in the middle, I think, of most of the classes. It's below these other classes. Solid, but not like bad, but like it's also not like crazy good. I think that Archer is probably somewhere in the A tier. I'm not sure where I want to put him quite yet. I think that Awakening Valkyrie, people rave about Awakening Valkyrie. I don't actually think it's, I think it's like in the middle. I think it's like mid. After the Hostiludium changes and all that shit, I think it's like okay. You don't think Suck Ninja's S? No, I'm pretty comfortable with where Suck Ninja is. I think it's in the A tier. I think it does really well. Um, like maybe, maybe if you're a god, yeah, you can make it S for sure. But like again, I had it at the top of A and chat was like, you. But like I'm pretty confident 
middle to top of A tier for Succession Ninja. I might move this around later. I don't think it's S tier though. I don't think it belongs in the S tier. Um, I actually think that uh, Succession Corsair is actually pretty good B tier class here. Um, definitely really solid. Don't think it's like particularly breaking records, but I think it's pretty solid. I think that Mewa, both specs of Mewa are really good. Or by really good, I mean they're like mid. Eh, I'm gonna put them here. I I'll, I'll put them at the top of B. They're like B plus. They're like okay. Which one is better than which? Who knows? Okay, there it's negligible. Woosa? Oh, you know I haven't done Woosa yet. Uh, Woosa's really really good i don't think that she's s tier but i think that she's uh, maybe, maybe she's s tier maybe, maybe she goes here maybe she just teeters on the end of s tier i'm okay with that but she's definitely somewhere in the high a's to low s's in my opinion suck guardian is like a mid it's like yeah it's, it's the, okay here's what guardian mains don't want to tell you guys Guardian mains love to rave about how great a guardian are grinding guardian is. The truth of the matter is, guardian's basically a mid tier grinder, like kind of across the board, mid to low tier, but like it's the lowest APM in the game, which makes it a crazy good grinder because you don't have to actually use hands on your keyboard. You can literally just put your like drink on top of your shift key and then roll your hands back and forth across the keyboard, and the class will do the work for you. That's what makes Guardian really good. But in terms of overall efficiency, I'd say she's middle of the pack. Middle of the pack. Awakening Berserker, here comes a hot take. That class is really good. That class is probably right next to Hash. I'm going to move the ninja up because I think that these belong next to each other. Hot take, move them all down a bracket and keep Nova in S. <laughs> He's not wrong. I think that these, like, four right here are in kind of a league of their own. Like, the, these four are crazy. It kind of drops off towards the wizard here. The lawn is good, too. But I don't think that it can keep up with the speed that the Nova is moving. You know what I mean? Watching too many PAL vids? No, I've played the Nova myself. I've seen it. I've experienced it, man. It's... It's crazy. Is Musa on the third? Musa's right here. I got Musa right there. Lawn, I think that is okay. It's like a mid-tier grinder for Awakening. It's like B-tier, right? It's like okay. I think that Awakening Witch is probably like... It's pro Awakening Witch deserves to be in the A-tier. Um, Probably above the Tamer. What outfit is the Suck Witch wearing? That's the Atanas set. That's the Succession set. Um, Zoni, thanks for the Prime sub, man. Thanks for dropping it here. Appreciate that, man. I think that Succession Kuno is... All right, I'm going to say it. I know none of the Kunoichi mains want me to say it, but here's the truth. I think that Succession Kunoichi is actually a pretty good grinder. It's high APM, but it's actually not bad. I think Awakening Kuno is pretty bad. I think Awakening Warrior is probably like... I don't know. It's below average. Hey, well, you're right. <laughs> there it is. I, again, I played Sakuno. I did a good amount of time on it. I played Awakening too. Didn't like the Awakening very much. Didn't didn't really feel like it was great. And I grinded these at Giants. So like Giants is kind of like Orcs, right? It's like a mid-tier grind zone. Um, so I have pretty good experience with that. I think that Suck DK is definitely a fu it is good, but it's not as good as I would say Suck DK is probably better than probably better than Witch. Worse than Striker, though. Yo, 
Yo, where'd my where'd my scholar go, man? Didn't I literally just upload a? There we go. You play Tamer? I've played Tamer before, yeah. I did her early in mid game. I like the suck tamer is pretty good. I think suck tamer is pretty solid. Like awakening tamer struggles a little bit. Um, I'm gonna put it in the C tier. I don't think it's that great. I think Sork picks it up a little bit here. I think Sork's kind of mid. It's like I. I think Awakening Draconia is below average. C tier is like below average, guys. I think B is like mid. A is above average. S is like considered one of the best. I think Awakening Ranger gets a little bit better at this tier. Probably like here. Eh, probably like there. When did he play Kuno at Giants? I, I want to watch the VOD. Okay, chat. Can you please vouch for me? I played Kuno at Giants for like two and a half weeks. I just sat at Giants and played Kuno. Mm. He did indeed. Thank you. Uh, I think Suck Mystic at mid-tier grinding is actually pretty good. I think it's above average. Eh, I think it's like here. Uh, I think it's I think it's like B plus. It's not like A tier, but it's also not like it's not bad. I think Awakening Mystic though. Give me a minute. Awakening Mystic might just eat. Maybe it's a little worse than Awakening Musa. But it's crazy good. And when we get to the end game grind zones, I'm moving it up even further. Think I won't. I think it's really good. Suck Striker, I think is really good. I think it's definitely above average. I don't think it's really where Awakening is, but I think it's good. I think Guardian is again, it's just kind of mid. It's like, okay, sure. Lowest APM class in the game. Scholar. Scholar in the mid game. Is kind of mid. I think it's probably there. Right in the middle. Return, tell me to reroll my Awakening Mewa to Awakening Nova. I'm not telling you to do that. I'm commanding you. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. If you don't want to play it, then don't play it, but it is better. Garbage. Suck Zerker. Pretty good grinder, guys. Pretty good. Pretty good. You think it's ass? I don't know. I think it's high A. I think it's like a high A plus. What's on the bottom row? Oh, that would be Shy, Suck Nova, and Succession Valkyrie. So far. Um, I think this belongs in the C tier. I think Suck Ranger starts to fall off in the mid game. I think that it's probably right around. Suck Ranger and Awakening Ranger get kind of close. Depends. Awakening Ranger takes over late game though. You'll see him. You'll see him start to shift. <sighs> Mid. Dog shit. Mid. Mid. Okay. 
I'd say it's above average. Okay. Reasons these guys are not where they should, uh, like, like not high on the list. Suck Wizard just, it's just a worse version of Suck Witch in PvE. It really does not do super well, guys. Like, it, it doesn't really have the damage. It's, it's suffering. It's probably not the worst class in the game. Um, honestly, I could probably move him up to C tier. But Succession Nova is most undoubtedly the worst class in the game at basically everything in the game. If I made a tier list and I knew... I just had to put, like, start from the bottom. I would just find Succession Nova first because she owns that tier. Okay. Succession Valkyrie um, just doesn't quite have the mobility um, or the damage to kind of be competitive in PvE. Shy gets a little bit better. If you're talking about group grinding, Shy is S. But if you're talking about solo grinding, these mid-tier spots, Shy does not do very well at any of the mid-game spots like Orcs, Underwater Sakraya, Jade Starlight Forest. She doesn't have the mobility to get any of that done. But at, but if you want to play her in a group setting, it's absolutely doable. So like if you want to go to Upper Gyphon, for example, with the Shy or the Suck Valkyrie or the Suck Nova, you're probably going to be better off doing that. Okay. Uh, no, we're not talking about Underground Gyphon yet. Okay. Where's the Succession Draconic? She's right here. Uh, I'll go ahead and hide my, my camera and I will zoom out so that everybody can see it. There you go. I would say Gyphon leans more towards end game grinding, which is exactly what I'm going to talk about next. Okay. Let's talk about end game grinding. Now, keep in mind. Keep in mind. That a lot of these classes... Oh, man. It just reset my scholar again. Hold on, guys. Okay, there we go. A lot of these classes are good at very specific spots. And I will say the spot that they're good at, typically, if I feel like there's an exception. Scholar is a good example. Right? Now, let's get down to business. This is end game PvE tier list. All right? This is like 700 plus gear score... Dekia, honestly, the lowest tier spot on this list would be upper, or I mean, lower Gyphon. But even lower Gyphon's kind of like, it, we don't even really consider it as high a tier, right? Like, it's not even, it's kind of like, I guess it counts as high tier. I guess that counts as more end game, because uh, you're making over a bill an hour. All right, so what's the best class in the game at end game grinding? My queen! It's Succession Witch. But what about... Shut the f*** up. Then it's Awakening Nova. Alright. The other queen. Alright. Then it's Awakening Nova. Alright. These two are basically in a tier of their own. They grind at almost identical speeds. From what I can tell. At the various spots in the game. The reason I put oh, uh, Succession Witch over Awakening Nova is because, well, she's got more sustained self buffs and like, generally speaking, you can't have more overall DPS output on a single target than the Nova can, because uh, you can't. Sometimes you can't keep your Excel mode up as uh, consistently as you need to. But like, I think the Suck Witch and the Awakening Nova are really, really close. Okay. Now we talked about this before. What do we think the third best grinder in the game is? Personally. When you talk about some of the best grinders in the game, I think that Awakening Mystic has moved dramatically up this list with the like the new um like the martial shard changes. I think Awakening Mystic is actually kind of stupid. Um it's really silly. Some of the numbers that you hear Awakening Mystic's pulling down at some of the end game grind zones are crazy. Crazy. Okay. Um we're also going to look at uh, Awakening Wizard is really good. Uh, belongs in the S tier, no question. Really, really good. The only king in this entire harem of witches, novas, and mystics. Okay. Um, I also think that other classes that belong in this tier are... Where is Succession Lawn? Belongs here for sure. 
then I think that Awakening Dark Knight belongs up here too. I think these are the best classes, pretty undisputed, in this order in PvE. You could argue that the Mystic is lower down this list. But I think that the Mystic is very consistently good enough. Yeah. I, again, I, I've played Awakening DK. I, I played Awakening DK for three and a half years. When they made the PvE changes, I tagged it for a couple days and went to the various grind spots in the game. It's the, it was the fastest grinder that I tagged. It was crazy. And... I talked to some of the other Awakening DKs and they're like, yeah, it's insane. We just don't say anything to anybody because we just keep our heads down and they don't nerf us. The rip, what makes Awakening DK difficult is that she needs a lot of DP to grind. She can be one shot extremely quickly. So like, you don't talk about Awakening DK unless you have the DP to, to get it done at the spot. Yes, you're going to iframe a lot of it, but like, dude, like, you guys see me when I'm grinding on Awakening Witch every once in a while, I'll just take a bunch of damage. Yeah, Dark Knight's just dead, guys. Um, it's just over. Uh, at the top of the, um, now, okay. I'm gonna put Shy up here, too. Um, but only for party grinding. I I'm gonna I'm put Shy here, too. But the reason she's here is because of Decky Olin's. And Deki a tongue, um, like Turos. Like that, that's why Shy belongs up here. Okay. Now we're going to move to the A tier. To queen of the A tier is Succession Megu. Shut up. I don't want to hear it. She's like actually just cracked. It's insane. Stupid class. Um, I think that other A tier class. Let me see. Scholar. I think Awakening Witch is better than Scholar. Mainly because she's definitely a little bit of a safe, more of a safer grinder and she's more consistent. She's really good. Wusa. Oh yeah, true. Wusa. Yeah. Okay. Suck Wusa. Scholar is the best class in the game at Underground Gyphon. Just to be clear. Um, definitely the best class in the game in Underground Gyphon. No question. Crazy, crazy good at that. Um, okay, we're going to do the hot takes, um, because a lot of people don't talk about Succession Ninja very often. Honestly, if you're willing to put up the APM, I think the Succession Ninja actually lands here. It's a little dumb. I don't understand how they do it, but they constantly have more trash loot than I do at every spot. On my awakening witch it's pretty stupid it's a really really good grinder like very underrated the reason that people don't talk about succession ninja is because it's extremely high apm um we're also going to talk about this is also the tier that i'd like to put succession warrior in uh and i'm going to put him right here i think succession warrior is also a really really good grinder a lot of good frontal guards good aoe's Mobility is solid, although you don't really need mobility at end game spots. Just really solid. Just really solid. Uh, what else belongs up here, guys? Does... I don't see Guardian on S? Bro, because the Guardian, like, simps in the chat need to relax. Man, I'm not putting Guardian in the S tier, man. That's crazy. Yeah, I think Awakening Zerker is exactly what I was thinking about, too. Like, Awakening Zerker is just really solid. Like, Awakening Zerker probably goes here. Um, Are we in the A tier? We are. So, Awakening Sage definitely belongs here. Uh, I don't know if it beats Awakening Witch. Probably. Probably. Suck Musa, no. Suck Musa kind of falls off towards the end game. So does so does Awakening, though. Uh, but I'll get to that later. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything that I missed that's like really glaringly like, oh yeah, that class needs to be there. Um, I don't think so. I think we can move down to the mid tier, like the like the mid classes here. Student, I'm glad to see you. Um, my shy is in the rightful spot. Yeah, she's a loser. And so are you. Um, 
So, I think in the B tier, I'm just kidding. You're not a loser. Okay. You just play shy. Okay. I think that Succession Tamer is pretty good for sure. Suck Tamer might go in the A tier. I'm going to put Succession Tamer in the A tier. I think it's pretty good. I think that Sork belongs in the high Bs. Succession Sork goes first, then Awakening. I think that Awakening May was not bad at um, endgame grinding either. Pretty solid. I think Awakening Valkyrie is like okay. Guardian belongs in this tier because again, she's like mid at everything. But she's got low APM, so she that makes her like the best grinder in the game for a lot of people. If you're talking about APM, Guardian belongs way higher on this list, right? We, I'll, I'll put a note. Disregarding APM. All of these tier lists disregard APM. I'm just getting the easy ones out of the way, guys. What's the high, best high level spot for Suck Megu? They're all good spots for Suck Megu. Just don't go to Dekia Ash, okay? You're just sitting on a casting couch if you do that. I think that Awakening Corsair belongs in the B tier. It might go to A tier if you're really good. So I'm going to move it up here. Eh. Uh, eh. Uh. Eh, now nah, I'm gonna keep it below Guardian. I think Guardian's better. I think the Hash belongs. Ooh. Hash is pretty good. We forgot about Hash, guys. Where do I put this? I think it's a B plus. I'm going to give it a solid B plus. I'm going to go with my gut. I'm going to give it a solid B plus. I think Sork kind of comes in after it. Yep. It's, it, I, I think it sits. I don't really think it's, it deserves to be in the, the, the tier with the rest of these guys. Um, uh, I, you guys said that Awakening Warrior is a solid C tier, and I would say it is solid crap. That is, that is fair. I would agree with that assessment. I think that Succession Dark Knight is somewhere around where, it's probably a little bit better than, than Sork is. Awakening Mela has the best Tongue Red Ruins Trash Brower. That's why I have her where I have her. And not like way lower. Awakening Mela is potentially one of the best classes in the game for some of the high level grind spots like Tongue Red Ruins. It does exceptionally well at places like Tongue Red Ruins. That's not even the only spot that Awakening Mela is good at. I could theoretically, I thought about putting her in the A tier. I thought about put, you know what? I will put her in the A tier. Her frontal guard heavy class, and she's got a massive amount of accuracy just built into the kit. She's just really good. Um, like she starts to really come into her own. She can't really abuse the mobility, but like, yeah, she's really solid. I'll, 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 I'll shuffle her down to the, to the bottom of A, but yeah, that's why I had her on the list already. I think that Succession Mewa is complete dog shit. Um... I do not. I think Suck Mei was really bad at large scale P or I mean at uh, end game PVE. Um, I think that Suck Kuno. This is going to be a hot take, guys. I think Suck Kuno is actually not bad. I think it's like right. It's like it's like mid to like low. It's like somewhere in there, bro. It's like, OK, maybe it's a little better than Corsair, bro. Like, I actually don't think that that's bad. I think Awakening Kuno is bad. I think Succession Mystic is bad. I Maybe C tier. Because it lacks AoE. 
It belongs next to Warrior. I think that's fair. Succession Valkyrie is bad. Awakening Dan's Musa... Dan's have just resubscribed for three months. He's like B-ish tier. Awakening Musa belongs in like the middle of B. It's not as good as its Succession counterpart, but it's pretty solid. Like, it's not a bad grinder. It's not necessarily a great grinder. Uh... Gansville Lieb, thanks so much for the uh, Prime sub. Welcome back for three months, man. Um, I think that Suck Corsair kind of falls off a little bit uh, into the late game, but I still think it's better than its Awakening counterpart. It's like, okay. It can be really good um, at some of the Ulikita spots. And by really good, I mean it pulls like average trash loot, so it's a B tier class. Um... Awakening Musa is just a hair above D tier. Just a f hair above it. I mean, it's it's so close, guys. And Suck Musa is right next to it. Like, uh, Awakening Striker is a really good grinder. I just haven't gotten to him yet. I would say that Awakening Striker is probably sitting towards the top of the B tier. Uh, Awakening Megu. C for crap. Why play Awakening when you can play Succession and have more damage with less APM and be better? Succession Striker. Um, honestly, Suck Striker is kind of like B. It's like, it probably sits here. Musa falls off hard late game. You're damn right it does. It also becomes a high APM class, if you can believe it. Awakening Musa, it's like a lie. They, like, lie to you. At low to mid spots, they're like, oh, yeah, this is really low APM, guys. Don't worry about it. And then when you get to the high tier spots, man, you're kind of sweating your balls off. It's exactly the same for Archer. Archer's an A tier grinder. But Archer is extremely high APM at high tier grinding. I mean, it's one of the highest in the game. It's really low APM at low to mid tier, but at high, like at like the end game PVE, oh my God, you're just sweating so much balls, man. <laughs> it's crazy, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I wouldn't say it's necessarily better than the rest of the A tier, um, but it's pretty good. Uh, Awakening Tamer. This is crap, okay? Well, I'd say it's B tier. I'll, I'll, I'll give her B. I'll give her B. I think she can hold like kind of a mid tier status. A lot, a lot like Awakening Lawn. I think that Awakening Ranger is actually either at the... Awakening Ranger could go here. Or it could go at the top of B. I'm going to put it at the top of B for now. I, Awakening Ranger is an exceptionally good um, late game grinder, but I don't feel like it measures up to some of the other A tier grinders. I think it's above average. I think that's basically where it stops. Um, Suck Zerker kind of falls off. I would say it's kind of it's kind of B minus to high C. I'll probably go right here. It's like okay. The reason people play Succession Berserker is because it's extremely low APM. It's the same reason you would play Guardian. It's just low APM and it's kind of a middle of the road. You just have to put forth like zero effort. Right? Is Suck Witch high APM? Yeah, I'll go over the APMs at the end here. Suck Ranger. Hot. Garbage. Hot. Garbage. In late game PvE, Suck Ranger is dead. D E dead. D E D dead. At at Cyclops? Yeah, you're dead. Suck Striker's kinda right in the middle. I think he's he, he's fine. You maybe you could move him up to above average. Maybe you move him up to like here. But like Suck Sage at high end grinding. Probably C tier. High C tier. Still, still C, but high C. Awakening Ninja. Suck 
It's not as good as Succession. It's not as good as Succession. A for Awakening. Shut up. Um... Okay. Maybe you put it in an A. Does it belong in A? I don't think it's as good as Succession Ninja. I don't see it ever recording numbers or people talking about how um, uh, that I have not played Awakening. But I do know that it does pull down exceptional trash numbers. It probably... Okay, so if you guys think it does belong there... I'll probably put it here. Fair? We good? Now let's talk about APM. Let's talk about APM. All right, so let's talk about uh, high APM. All right. On a scale of one to five. Rating APM. On a scale of 1 to 5, I'm only going to do it for the top tier classes. Succession Witch is like a 4. Six, uh, Awakening Nova is a 4. Awakening Mystic is like a 2.5. Okay, well, I need to make this smaller. Yeah, we're going to go 4... Four, two point five. It's like kind of right in the middle. This is a really low APM. I would say this is like a one point five, right, guys? No, this is on a scale of one to five. Uh, suck lawn. Uh, is a one. It's like the lowest APM in the game, right? Um, DK is like a three point five. And Shy's like a 2.5. No. Shy's like a 2. Shy's below F. She's like 1.5. I'm making her a 1.5. Is one good or bad? One means low. One equals low APM. Five equals insane APM. Okay. APM is actions per minute, guys. That means how many buttons, how hard you're working, basically, um, on this class. Um, Suck Mystic's APM is probably... It's about a 2.5. It's around where... I'd say Awakening's a little bit less. Honestly, I think Suck is actually like a 3, 3.5. Um, uh, Suck Megu... Um, you know, I'm just going to put the number on the picture, guys, if that's okay. Uh, I would say that Suck Megu's like a 2. Suck Woosa is like a three. Suck Ninja is a five. I think we can all agree on that. Suck Warrior is probably a two. Uh, Awakening Berserker is probably a four. Uh, Awakening Sage is probably a three. Awakening Witch is probably, again, a 1.5. Uh, I think the Ninja is probably, again, a five. Scholar's probably a 2.5. So like right in the middle. Uh, uh, the Tamer is probably... That's pretty low. I think the Tamer's like a 2. I think the Awakening May was like a 3. Oh, and Archer's a 5. It might be 4.5. I'll give it a 4.5. It's crazy. Okay, are we... like You guys, we're good here. I'm not, I'm not like any of this up. This looks good. Like, I, I, I think this is pretty reasonable. I'm just kind of spitballing, like, relative APMs here. That looks good. Okay, now let's do the next tier. Nova's a five. No, I played Nova. Believe it or not, as much shit as Nova gets, it doesn't touch what Kuno was. Kuno was way more APM intensive. Nova's like, yeah, I got to keep my Excel mode up, and I'm moving really fast. But my buttons, yeah, it's like four, you know, but it's not a five. Ninja's a fucking five. Kuno's a five. All right. Nova, Nova's a four. Yeah. Like it's high APM, but it ain't crazy. Uh, Ranger. 
you guys might have to help me out with a few of these awakening ranger i'm thinking awakening ranger is like a 3.5 just resubscribed for 15 months i ain't strikers i ain't awakening strikers a two um kit rar with the prime sub thanks so much buddy i appreciate that come catch these with the reset for 15 months at tier three thanks so much man i really appreciate that thank you thank you thank you um hash hash is like a like a four and a half or some shit right like hash is apm i i talked to cz and i talked to a lot of the hash mains i, I don't know how you might do it bro that shit's crazy i don't even want to do it suck striker is like probably a little bit more than awakening i think that it's like a 2.5 we're just trying to get it reasonably close so that people have a good idea um suck dark knight is probably a two um suck sork is probably a three. Oh, whoops is 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 sork a four okay well, i'll bring hash down to four okay i'll bring hash down to four but either way he's higher apm okay so we think that we think sork at three is good i think sork at three is good awakening woosa is probably i played a decent amount of awakening woosa it's probably 2.5 it's like kind of mid it's like whatever bro um awakening valkyrie actually requires like actual thought i think it's actually a 3.5 at high end grinding you actually kind of got to be sweating a little bit guardian one right guys one yeah um both specs sakuno's a five and a half suck corsair is like a 1.5 um yeah honestly guardian might be a 0. 0.5 yeah gar I I i'll bring guardian down to 0. 0.5 i don't want to confuse people so we're going to do 0. 0.25 I, I won't be able to see the decimal i i, I honestly don't want to confuse people because otherwise they're going to be like oh it's a five no it's actually a 0. 0.5 like um awakening corsair is probably a three and a half it's on the higher side i think but it's not like overbearing awakening tamer is also about a three and a half maybe four yeah it might be four i think four is fine i i played it i thought it felt like a little around where awakening dk was which would be putting it around a 3.5 to four uh, let's talk about Awakening Lawn. I think that I... One of my Choose Your Class Guide videos, I think I undersold the APM of Awakening Lawn. I actually think she's like a 3.5. I think she's actually... A, maybe she's a 3. I'll, I'll leave her at 3. But like, I think she's a little bit higher APM than I let on in the video, which I think I made a little bit of a mistake on, but it's nothing, nothing crazy. Um, Succession Berserker is a 1 um okay we good here everybody happy all right all right succession sage you know maybe i put suck sage a little low did i put suck sage a little low i feel like he might be a little low he might belong in b's here uh, i'm gonna move him up guys i think i he belongs Maybe he's A. Uh, no, he's not A. He's like middle of B. He's somewhere in B. I don't know exactly where he's going to sit in B, but I'd say his APM overall is like a 2.5. He's like right in the middle. He's okay. You know, his late game grind is okay. All right, but like that's that's where I would sit his APM. Now we're going to look down here. Awakening Megu's APM is actually pretty high, guys. It's like a three and a half. It's like around where Awakening DK sits. I know because I did it suck wizard uh apm is like a four um well i'd say it's a 3.5 nah it's like a eh, it's a four you're spamming like crazy awakening warrior is probably a four 
Uh, Suck Mystic's probably a three and a three. Solid three. Awakening Musa. Late game. Late game Awakening Musa. Not capping. Fight me on it. I think that late game, it, it, it he, he goes from like a one early mid game to like suddenly you need twice as much APM, which in fairness, two times like six buttons is only 12, but like that still puts him at like three and a half. Awakening Warriors a four. Would you guys want it to be a five? Do you guys think it should be higher? I don't think that it's like a ninja. No, oh, never mind. You said Awakening Nova Endgame is a four is right. Yeah, see, I, I know what I'm doing. I've played these glasses before. Three and a half. Okay, I, I, I'll trust the Warriors in chat. I'll, I'll make it three and a half. I don't see Bicep really stressing when he does it, but he's like a, he's kind of a veteran. Suck Musa. This is probably, this is probably a four. It's probably a four. I do not have a Patreon yet. Suck Musa looks complicated, but it's simple. Oh yeah, it's four buttons. You just have to spam them incredibly quickly, right? You're talking about like four or five skills, but you're like, like you're like sweating while you're doing it. It's like, and you gotta constantly move because like you're not like crazy protected. So like, yeah, I think the four is fair here. Um, all right, good. I kind of nailing these so far. Yo, my game knowledge kind of eaten, guys. I I'd say I've been kind of nailing this shit. Suck Mewa, who cares? I think that Suck Musa or Suck Mewa is probably like three point. It's probably a three. I'm not going to rate it above a three. I think that Succession Rangers probably a two and a half, maybe. Uh, I think Awakening Draconia is probably three and a half. I think Suck Drac. Suck Drac, I think I did dirty. I think Suck Drac actually should probably be up here, guys. I think Suck Drac actually probably belongs in the C tier. It's not quite this bad. And I would say that Succession Draconia's overall APM requirement is like a two compared to the other classes. Okay, it's like a two. Suck Mewa APM like a one? At late game? At early mid game? Yeah, like a one. But like late game? I don't know, man. I think you got to sweat at least a little bit, man. Shift LMB and RMB and then just dodge. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna give her I'm gonna give her a 1.5. Because I think giving her a 1 puts her on the same scale as like a lawn, and that's not right. Suck Nova. I'm just gonna rate this a 8, guys, so that no one plays this class. Because it's literally the worst class I've ever experienced. Okay. It's not true. It is not, it's like a 1 in APM. But I sincerely want to make sure that no one wants to play this class. Like, realistically speaking, it's like a 1 or 1.5. You know what I mean? It's really not that bad. Maybe it's a 2, right? But, like, if I put it at 10, everyone would be like, man, it's crazy high APM and it's dog shit. I won't play it. I'm, I'm just saving them. Um, This is a 5. It might be a five and a half. This is like, this is like a two, but it's just bad. Um, okay. Suck Falk is so bad. Yeah, I told you it's really bad. But like the APM is actually pretty low. It's just a bad class um, for PVE, right? Um, now, is everyone happy with how I have rated their APM on their classes? Everyone happy with that? Is everyone okay with the tier list as it currently stands? I believe this kind of nails it. I think we're basically on point. 